Good morning, everybody. Paulie from Paulie's Custom Skins. So, as I said yesterday in my video yesterday, uh, this, is gonna, this is basically a remake of my video from, I think it's 12 months ago, no, I think. It's basically just to show you how to make your skins in, your trailer skins in ATS. So all it is, all it was my last video, the audio was a bit rubbish on it and people were saying they could hardly hear me talking on there. Well, I've since changed my mic and obviously set, changed my setup a bit and obviously got that improved a bit better than what it was before. So we're just going to basically go over the same sort of thing as what we went over in that video. Um, just to, yeah. There's obviously new people coming into skinning every day, so yeah. So right, what we're going to do is we are going to go to... So we've got one of the templates here. What I'm going to show you is... It's all like more so you can see them more. Select all. So get the template pack from Cars Maniac on SCS forums. Now this pack has been updated, hasn't been updated for a while. I think you stopped doing it now. If you need more templates, you can get them off Mod Studio to Discord. They do we do get templates made up there if we can get them done. You can actually make your own templates up using Mod Studio. Uh, there is a video on how to do that. I have not done the video because I don't use that. I might do another video on how to make template, how to get your templates up because I use Ben's modding uh, template maker. So anyway, for now, just for today, we can do this. So get these, you can get these templates from Cars Maniac templates. You can get them for ETS2 and ATS, and it's mainly mostly SCS stuff, uh, which is what you'll need for today. So obviously for today, we're going to do, we're just going to skin the 53 trailer, the 53 foot trailer. So with the pack you get, with Cars Maniac, Cars Maniac pack, you get the 28 foot, the 32 foot, the 45, the 48 and the 53. We're going to use the 53 today. You get the trailer front, which is flat, the painted wall, you get the wind deflector on the front, you get the roller door, you get the standard doors. You get the standard door with a wind deflector, but if I'm correct, this doesn't work anymore, this template. You have to use this one. This is the one you have to use nowadays for the wind deflector, if I'm correct. I think I've done it on my last video. I think that's what I showed. So whether that's been updated in the pack, I don't know. Uh, then you've also got your accessories. We'll make them bigger. I'm going to select them all so you can see them. These are just basically your um, side skirts on the trailers. I just normally put a solid colour, four times four, and that's all I use for the side, the side, the, uh, side skirts, basically. So we've got the 53 trailer, the 53 template. I put that onto, oh, put that onto uh, Affinity Designer, like so. And we've also got the roller door. So we're just going to do a quick skin. I've already done this. So we've got Paulie's trucking on one side. Now you see there the arrows are pointing to the left and to the right. That's basically pointing to the front of the trailer. So this will be pointing to the front of the trailer this side. And obviously this point pointing to the front of the trailer this side. This part here is the roof. The roof of the trailer, basically. So you can obviously work out how you want your skin to look on the trailer. Obviously, if you want to have the logo sitting at the back of the trailer, on the left side, you'd obviously put the logo over here. Obviously, on the right side, you put it over here. I didn't know that for a long time until one of my good skinny friends told me. But yeah, so the point, the way these others point on the template, that's the way the, the front of the trailer is. So we've just got the poorly trucking on there. I'm just going to make this a metallic. So I've got it already saved, which I'll show you in the... So we've got it there already saved. So you just save it as a PNG. I've done the same with the rear door. Let me just show you. So you've got the rear door. I'll just put Paulie's trucking on the back of the airlock. So close that off. Close the template off. Save that because it can be a metallic, so I'll just leave it blank. The back, the back of it is just blank. we just leave that like that. we saved as a PNG. I'll show you in here, like so. So you got that's the rear door, that's the trailer. We'll pull Mod Studio up, and I'll show you in there. So you'll get your trailer, you get your template. Sorry, pick trailer skin. So 
So you got trailer skin now. You'll pick the box trailer or whichever trailer you might be so skinny. Uh, fill in your usual what you want to fit down on there. Fill your prices in. Now, not not ten times. You don't need to touch the alternative UV with the trailers. They're normally okay to be fair. Now, of course, we're doing the metallic today. We're going to click the base colors unlocked. We left the icon the way it is. We'll then pick the trailer skin we want. So we get to box trailer like so. So obviously we'll pick that one. Let's make them bigger so you can see them. So we'd obviously pick that one large one. That's what we called it. And that's what we got there. Now on there, if you look on the Mod Studio 2, they give you all the different sizes that you can use. So we're just going to use the 53 foot today. Now obviously if you're making different sizes, you make sure you pick the correct size for the trailer you're making, the skin you're making. Because obviously if you pick the wrong trailer, it's not going to show up. Or it's not going to show up properly on the trailer. It's going to show up. If you pick like, if I, because I've done the skin for the 53, if I was to pick that one, it'll show up on the 48, but obviously it's going to be too long or, or whatever. Same with all these. So just make sure you pick the right trailers that you're going to do. It's all, all it is, the dry van, insulated and reefer. That's all you've got. Accessories. Now with the accessories, so we've got the trailer rear doors. So pick the doors that you want to use. Uh, we use the roller up door, roller up door with the tar lift. Obviously, you use a different door, whichever one you want to use for here. Uh, you can paint the deflector if you want to put a logo on the front of the deflector, and that's the painted wall, the, the flat wall, basically. You've got the coolers on the front of the reefer if you wanted to paint them, whichever color you want to paint them. I think that chrome cooler don't actually work, but yeah. Um, and then basically just your side skirts for each for each of your trailers. You've got the airlow size skirts, and then you've got the 53s and the tra all different sizes with the different size trailers. So what we do, is, so we leave that on like that, sorry. So of course, we're just painting the rear roller door, which we're just going to keep them two ticks like that. We move down, so we had another accessory. So all I've done is I did a transparent PNG of four times four, that's all it's got to be. Nothing bigger, it doesn't need to be. Whatever anybody had tells you, I should, yeah, a four times four. Four times four is ample, big enough. So we're just going to use that to colour everything else. So paint it front of the trailer, the wind deflector, the other door, and the door with the deflector, and all the side skirts are just going to be painted. They'll be they'll all be metallic basically, so they'll change colour with the truck with the trailer. Then we're going to have a click in our metallic. We're going to click paint job trailer. If you want to, obviously that's whatever you're doing on here. That's your choice. I never choose any of these. I always leave all that empty. Never, all I put there, mod version 1.1, 1.0, unless it's been updated or whatever. Uh, I just put pull instruction in there. Obviously, whatever icon you want to put there, any text you want to put in there. Click that to enable multiplayer. Uh, never touch that. We then export that. All these. Uh, trucking trailer like so save let that do its business like so we'll start the game we'll get rid of that so yeah it's just basically the same process what we've done before obviously it's just a different version of what i did earlier just the the uh audio is a bit rubbish before to be fair so Thought there was somebody at my door then. Uh, go into your mod manager. Make sure you click OK. Confirm. I'm going to go into game. Now what we've done is, obviously the trailer's are metallic, so obviously it's going to be changeable colour, whatever we want to use with it. Uh, click that. We'll just go straight into game now and check it. And there we are. There's your roller door at the back. Ball is trucking on the sides. If we go into customization, so obviously if you're obviously changing your different, depending on what size you're using, we just need a single one, and we want the. We can obviously change this to whichever one you want to use. We obviously want to use. The, see if you look at it, look nothing will show because we don't actually 
select any of them. See, it will only show up on your 53 foot trailers. Like so. Okay. Obviously, if you want to start making all these, then obviously you can make all the different ones. That's up to you what you want to do. Uh, see, you notice the coolers. The coolers don't actually paint for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah. Let's change that to a insulated. So you got the flat wall, wall with a deflector, wind deflector on the roof. Obviously, that's the chrome one. So obviously, I sometimes put I put low goes on the top of this wind deflector as well. Um, but yeah, so then you got the painted side skirts, and that one, the arrow and the normal. Obviously, your lights on here, whatever you want to do. Then put your what try to do you pick? You pick the fifty three. Oh no, I've got the wrong one. There we go. So obviously you pick what you want to do on here. So it's good there. Obviously you can do the arrow or that one. Uh then you've got so you've got because we obviously didn't find the double door to solve. Then you got double door with the deflector on the back. There's a roller door. There's a roller door with the tail lift thing on the back. And there's your chrome door. So I'll see all these you guys make sure you paint these to whatever you want to do with them. Um I think basically that is it, I think. That is anything else I need to show you. Uh I'll say it's metallic changeable so you can change it to whatever colour you want. If you want to pink, orange, green. Obviously, your choice how you want to make your trailer look. Obviously, you customize it or you want to customize it. Um, now, this is just for the SES trailers. If you're doing modded trailers, I've got a completely new video on that. A completely different video, but that's it. It works totally different. Because uh, obviously, modded trailers are modded trailers. So. so, that is it. People, that is everything, I think. I think that should explain it just as well as it did before. Obviously, a bit, obviously you can actually hear it this time. Um, so yeah, I mean, as I said before, you can obviously, you can obviously make the skin as customizable as you want, make it as fancy as you want, do whatever you want with it. Uh, the SCS trailers ain't too bad to be honest, the skin, they, they, they're decent enough to be fair. Um, obviously use my studio to do the, to make everything up. I think that's it, really. I don't think there's anything else I can explain to do, to be honest. Obviously, if you've got any questions, you know, just leave it, obviously, ask me in the, uh, in the comments below. Leave any comments if you're struggling still. Uh, if there's any specifically you want to know about tra doing the trailer skins, just leave a comment below. If you're in my Discord, obviously, ask us in there. If you're in uh, Goggles or the Mod Studio Discord, ask me in there. But I think that's about it, basically. I think that's everything explained. 10, 15 minute video, you can make a skin, simple skin for the trailer, 10 minutes. Shouldn't take you long to be fair. Uh, I'll use Affinity Designer, you can obviously use Paint, Paint.net, Gimp. Obviously if you want to use Photoshop, that's your choice, if you're paying for that, that's your choice. But yeah, that's it people, I think that's it for today. Uh, that'll do for this week. I might hopefully, hopefully start doing a few more videos, like I was doing a few weeks back. Uh, I've just had a few weeks of, obviously, Real life stuff going on at the minute, but I've just got sorted. That's all, nothing serious. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully, back to making a few more videos next week. But to be fair, I think most of my tutorials have covered a lot of stuff. I might do one on how you can actually get the templates using bend modding because that's how I get the templates if I need to. But we'll see, that might, that's another video for another day. So, have yourselves a great weekend. I say any comments. Don't forget to like my videos if you if you're enjoying them, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.